There's someone that's going to come up and... Um, me! 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 Oh, you want to come up? No. Um, he's, he's a special brother. Does not know him? He, he's the truth. He's reality. He's always speaking the truth. Tell me what he feels. And I think that's important. Um, and I know him. So anyway... We're going to bring Brian. Brian, come on. And a lot of people was like, yo, 
I'm not worthy to, to, to even be with God. Yo, we're not. Because as many times as I told myself, I'm walking out these doors for the man, I'm not coming back. It's as many times as God, let me go and let me go right back on my face and I went back to him like, yo. You know, and he's always been there waiting for me. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm happy to say now, you know, I still have my struggles. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to come up to you and say everything's all right, everything's perfect. No. The Lord knows that, I mean, me and my father, that's a whole different situation. <laughs> I mean, you're always praying for somebody's soul and you're praying for God to save him, but at the same time, I'm like, your meal, save him because if not, I'm going to kill him. I mean, that's how I feel. But you know what? My testimony is not even that. I had a brother, Stephen, and praise God for my brother Melo's right there at the camera. You know, praise God, man. Hello. My brother, my brother Stephen. My brother Stephen. I mean, we went on a retreat not too, not too long ago, and for my brother Stephen, who was somebody that to show me up, like beat me down, like beat me up, for him to say that he needed a hug for me was something that I never thought. And when I looked at my brother who was in the retreat and I had my witnesses, he had tears in his eyes. And he said, all I want is for my brother to give me a hug. And for me, that was just like, that broke my heart. I mean, in like two seconds, I was there. And to see the change that God is doing in his life, I'm telling you, there's nothing impossible. So when you find yourself flat on your face, remember, God is like that. All you got to do is look at a reach. And remember that we have brothers and sisters. I want to thank all for my own family, which is all of y'all. That when we on our floor and we fly on our face, I have Monica, Christina, Elizabeth. I mean, if I start naming everybody, you know what I'm saying? If I fall on my face, I know one of my sisters and one of my brothers is going to be there and say, Come on, bro, get up. We're not finished yet. Because you know what? There's, I mean, I like to do everything by myself. By myself. Brian, you know, nah, 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 I got to do everything by myself. And God, and Pastor's always saying this, this you can't. Christianity is not about going and walking by yourself. And that's, that's, every time I fall on my face, it's like God is telling me, get up. You got your brothers and sisters, go back. And I just want to tell you guys that, I mean, and I know you heard it before, and everybody says that nothing's impossible for God. Amen. Nothing. I mean, if you could come up and be in my shoes and feel the way I'm feeling right now, you know nothing's impossible for God. Amen. And, and, and it's funny because they would do the lesson in the youth, and, and my lesson was on mercy. But His mercy, I mean, God wants us to realize that His mercy is so great. His mercy is so great on us. Because like I got to when we was upstairs, I was like, listen, if I was God, everybody would be dead. Dad. Because if the, sin, if, if, if the wages of sin is death, then you know what happens. You know? You could come, you could be, you could be the best Christian on a Sunday, or on a Wednesday, or on a Friday. But uh, I thought we coming home from like cursing at my mother or, or beating some guy up. That I come through these doors and nobody knows, but you know what God knows. And He's always watching us. And He's always